What is up everyone out in the world wide web? This is Jesse with Viral Thoughts and today, yes, we are doing the Endgame reviews. And what, did, what would Aristotle think of Endgame? We're going to be comparing Aristotle's Elements of Drama to movies we watch, and this week is Endgame, Marvel's Endgame. So just a heads up, there will be light spoilers of Endgame. I'm not going to be giving away a whole, like, the cruxes of the movie, but there will be some light spoilers ahead. Number one is plot, and the plot of Endgame is a revenge story. You'll remember in uh, Avengers Affinity War that everybody got dusted, like half of everybody got dusted. Um, and this, obviously from the trailers, you see that people are picking, they're picking themselves up and heading back to Thanos for the revenge. There's some time twisty stuff, like time travel things going on. It's an interesting plot. It, it can be confusing, especially those people who are not familiar with the previous movies because heads up, they go and do a lot of uh, things that connect a lot with the past movies. So I give Marvel's Endgame, the plot, a four out of five star. All right, number two is character. Now character, this can be a complicated question, uh, something to contemplate because there's so many movies. There's 21 or 22 Marvel movies out in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So there's a lot of characters and a lot, there's, the character arcs are coming to an end uh, in Marvel Endgame. There's a lot of character climaxes in the movie. So there's a lot of that, that dynamic. People have changed. People do have backstory. But I mean, they're not like deep, deep characters. So I'm going to be giving the characters of Endgame a 3.5 out of five star. I don't want to go in too much depth because there is some major spoilers if I reveal too much. I just do want to make a shout out to Super Carlin Brothers who covered like how a lot of the Marvel characters are going through the various stages of grief and it's actually interesting. I don't want to give away too much, just go and watch it. Number three is theme. Now Marvel movies, they tend to be a little shallow on their themes. I mean, it, it give and take some of the movies, um, but they tend to be a little bit of uh, of a thin theme um, and even with you do narrow it down it's not that meaningful but uh, here it goes I think the theme of Endgame is uniting together makes you strong so I mean it's not like it's a kind of vague theme and it's I don't know that it's so that super powerful but there you go I give Marvel Endgame's theme a two out of five star Number four is dialogue or diction. Now, these are the words that are said. Now, to be honest, I don't know that it was like any super powerful moments. They're not like super memorable speeches. Now, there are a couple lines in there that you remember. Like, for instance, uh, Tony Stark says, I am Iron Man. And that's a throwback to his first movie. And that was a, that, it was a fairly powerful moment in the movie. So, I mean, there's a little bit of that, uh, but it's not super deep. Uh, so I would give the diction for any game a three out of five star number five is music and rhythm and the music in this movie is good it's orchestral music now there is a little bit more emotion i was listening to the soundtrack uh, just a little bit ago and it actually is a quite like you can feel the emotions in the the soundtrack it is a very dramatic movie so it's pretty good it doesn't distract the pacing is pretty good sometimes you get a little confused with the pacing, but it, it's it's good. I would give the music and rhythm of Endgame a 3.5 out of 5. And the final is spectacle. And this is where Marvel movies always shine. The spectacle, they have awesome scenes and top-notch graphics. They do dramatics, they do explosions, they like all top notch. So I would give Marvel Endgame a five out of five star. All right, so just a quick review here is the stats of Endgame. And now here is the results. I give Marvel's Endgame a 3.5 out of five. Now, I do want to make this a caveat. This is a movie that needs to be watched with other movies. Go and watch all, pretty much go and watch all this the Marvel Cinematic Universe beforehand if you're going to be watching this movie because it is connected to almost all of them. So go ahead and, and uh, 
give it a watch if you have already seen a lot of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It's a fun movie. Go and watch it. Now, this is also, it's interesting because this movie, this is the top most selling superhero movie of all time. Accounting for inflation, it is also the seventh most sold movie in the world. That's including like Gone with the Wind and the other previous. So it's, it's, it's significant. All right, thanks everyone for watching. This is the end of the video. Go ahead and like this video and subscribe. I'm trying to get this channel up to 100 subscribers, hopefully by the end of the mid-year. So that would be awesome, guys. Uh, go ahead and tell your friends, share this video, uh, like it, and subscribe. And if you guys have any constructive advice, please leave your comments in the, the, the space down below. It was, it'd be really helpful if you guys had pitched in. If you guys disagree with me, please let me know. Maybe in the future I will be like changing and modifying some of the numbers, but like leaving your comments down in the section below uh, and we will see you next week and be kind to each other out there.